Hello, and welcome to Off That Rant. Are you ready to time travel? Do you remember what happened last night? Yeah, I do. Do you remember what happened six years ago? Maybe. Anyway. I still can't believe last night. Last night something happened to me, I was drinking, I was eating, and I went to have some food, and I have never been so freaked out in all my life. Anyone who likes eating stuff, I wouldn't watch this video. I don't even know if it exists, but if it is, oh my god. So what happened last night? What happened years ago? Wait a minute, let's get the right wardrobe on it. Dun dun dun! There we go. Right, so welcome to Off That Rant. Now this one's called The Slug. What's it going to be called? It's Off That Rant and The Slug. Yeah, Off That Rant and The Slug. That's what it's going to be called. And it is not the one and only David Johnson, who would not know what the fuck that was. Just used that for another video. That's a coincidence that was there. Do you know what this is, Sluggy? Let's call him Sluggy. Do you know what this is? It's a map to the Goonies. Yes, that's right, my friend. David Johnson has not seen the Goonies. And he wonders why he never gets by him. No, not to be harsh, David Johnson is actually inspirational in the last couple of years. If you know him, you know him, you know what he's done, he's done, he's done great. He's absolutely done great. And I generally mean that. So out of the shadows of the camera, um, this and off that rant is coming out before the next on off that rant. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh! That is the Area 51 sign and the alien. Do you know that? Mogwai is an alien? Well, you know, if you read the novel, you'll know that. He's not really called Gizmo. Hey, what's that noise? Surprising I'm making a racket. Yeah, you be quiet. But yeah, he's actually an alien. I don't, I don't think I've got another alien I can grab. But yeah, there we go. He's an alien. So that video's done, dusted, and it's come out really well. So I'm looking forward to sharing that. It's just a bit long. It's like 40 minutes long. It's like, wow. In fact, it might even be longer than 40 minutes because it's had three edits. It's a big scale one, and it was great to go down the wabbit hole. Wabbit hole. Rabbit hole. Hell, my foot there. Well, rabbit season. Anyway, off that rant. Now, the reason I'm bringing this one forward is I discovered this footage a few nights ago. I'm doing some archival backup. Now, I just want to have a quick rant. There was another rant filmed that is not going to be in this rant. It was mainly me ranting about the death of my laptop. Now, if you go back to the first off that rant when I talk about uploading mini DV tapes and how you have to do it with the old cameras, plugged in the laptop one night, boom, boom, flatlined. I was like, what the fuck? I was proper stressed about it, completely ruined the night. It just wouldn't get past the fucking startup screen. You could just hear the fucking internal hard drive going. And what it was really doing was going. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. 24 hours later, I thought, you know what? The tapes, I'll check them. Fucking mini DV camera broke as well. Can you believe that? So I had to buy a new camera. Hopefully get the laptop fixed over the next couple of weeks. And I'll get back on the whole tape train train. Hello, right, I don't know what this is going in, so I'm not going to introduce myself, I'm not going to say what the outtakes, I'm just going to say for fuck's sake, that's what I'm going to say for fuck's sake. So there was another rant, I was standing right here, looking that way, going blah 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 blah, don't think they'll be in this video, shouldn't be in this video, because I want to keep this one really short, but that's it. <clears throat> and get back to the thing that this is about the slug, now this is like five, six years ago, and this is as real as it gets. Now, it's as real as it gets, because I'll tell you the following. So if you want to check back, five fucking hell, it's not even five, it's about seven years ago, 2015, it's from 2015, wow, wow, six, seven, I don't even know what day it is, what time it is, what year it is, anyway, it's a while ago, so I've got the t-shirt and the hat, the memories are there, fragiles of them, but you'll never guess what happened. So I was off Edmund Summit as I was, this is kind of the era of the birth of Lonely Tree, you could probably go in and go, where did Lonely Tree come from? Well, you know, I was sitting there looking at the wall, and uh, I had the, the, the tree, I need the tree, the tree, yes, that tree, it was there, it was the only thing in front of us, the room light was red, it was like, ding, yeah, pretty much that red, you know, ding, <laughs> Yeah, but again, it was like one of them, you know, the bulbs you meant to put in the fire. And it was just echoing there, and I just went, you know what, that's quite a good image. Got the camera, filmed it, hit some vintage filters and all that kind of shits and jazz. Went for the colour red, which is not normally my go-to colour. It's normally purple or green. Or at the moment, um, purple and yellow. That fusion's going well for me today. Uh, not today, in general, at the moment. Today was going very well. I started talking on fucking camera, that's for sure. And, um... Yeah, Lonely Tree, it's just a tree there. And if you want to go into a little bit more history, Lonely Tree Entertainment's just a shell of the bigger company. 
but one of the things at the start of the video, if you didn't really know that, Sycamore Gap is the biggest lonely tree around there. And if you want to know the true bit about it, where the camera is, looking out to that void of a valley and that one tree on the hill, the Sycamore Gap is right behind there. And there's no fucking tree in sight. And I was like, right, that's fucking perfect. I went there for Sycamore Gap and I will have that tree. So if you ever go to Sycamore Gap, it's the tree over. So yeah, that happened really because the BBC were there filming and every time they tried, the guy was trying to walk out in front of the tree. I, I was just waiting, I was just, I'll wait. I'll wait, the guy was just like, for fuck's sake. And he's getting more frustrated. But this isn't about the birth of Lonely Tree, but again, that's where the original in intro comes from. Ashes of Iron's music was added well later. We're gone with a sin. Gone with a strun. Gone with a strun, strun, strun. And it is now Scott Michael Cavigan, the future song. And it's evolved over the years, but the imagery's changed. I think it's changed about three times. Different walks, different gems. I don't know why I've put the light off that. But again, right, this is about the slug. Now, I am not going to deny that I was pissed that night, and I am not going to deny I was high as fuck that night. And if you look at the clock in the background, you can see it's about 20 to 11, 10 to 11 or so, and I'm making tea, and I'm ready to go to bed, you know what I mean? I wasn't up late night fucking raving and stuff like that. No. Worked on some videos, done dusted, and I'd been shopping. And I went to the fridge and um, this is 100% true and this is again what's interesting about off that rants and shorter rants because the fact is rather than going down the rabbit hole like I was talking before there's two clips you've seen the first one the, the, the morning after I don't know where that Pluto cup went I really missed that Pluto cup probably got broken um, I opened my food up and I fucking freaked out and this is where the footage cuts in and it's just totally unscripted it is how it happened i am really totally freaked out this is as real as it gets yes i'm a bit wasted but guess what just happened no i know what just happened cat seriously i'm freaking out completely freaking out i went to cook a fucking chinese meal in the microwave i went like that opened the fucking container and shit just went everywhere and then all of a sudden i seems i don't know if it's come from there or it's a figment of my imagination do you see how fucked i am on this check this out Right? Am I going crazy or is there something seriously wrong with this? Look! What is that? What is that? That looks like a slug! Can you see that? Can you fucking see that? It, that is not part of my recipe. We're there, we're there. Oh my god. That, that is a slug. Look at that. That is not part of my chicken. That is definitely not part of my chicken. That is a slug in my food. That is a slug in my food. I don't know what to do. Run away. <laughs> is that really just happened? It's a fucking slug. Look, it's moving! That moved! Oh, it's moving! It's a slug! Run Now, growing up in the eras before the words of YouTube and the idea that you would pretty much have to turn your t-shirt inside out, have no logos or anything like that, there's me thinking, do not show any product details. I wasn't about the customer service, I'm thinking, Camera gold. I never fucking do anything with the footage. I think I might have had a brief appearance, but like I was like, right, let's finally fucking do something with this footage. I was like, yeah, that's a real fucking slug of me food. It's still alive. I'm getting rid of that fork. Oh my god, this is the last thing I wanted tonight. Get in there. Go back to where you came from. Airtight. Fucking carrier bag. I haven't shown any brands or where I fucking got it from because that is my footage. Watch what you fucking eat because shit fucking happens like that. Wow. Totally about getting tripped out and caught on camera. I'm totally shot. 
Of course, I am completely fucking skitzing out. Like, literally, it is. Ugh, it's a fucking slug. It is fucking minging. Do I dare cook this one? The thing is, if you looked at that, right, and you get them packs, and I've talked to people about this, again, I have spoken to people, and obviously, like, again, it's mixed with the veg and all the frost thing, there is a chance that you could get a slug in, but to get a fucking live slug in, it being in the fridge, opened it up, and there was a, like, it just like, you talking about, it's fucking minging. It's still alive! So yeah, everyone I talked to said, oh, could have been done in the processing and leaves and all that, and I'm like, you know what, I didn't win the lottery that night, but I got that. That, you know what I mean? That one, that one story. I always remember when my uh, granddad as a kid I used to love tongue sandwiches. Like, oh, can I have a tongue sandwich, tongue sandwich? And one day he just went like that. He just pulled out the fucking, uh, you know, the, t the, the fucking tub of meat out the thing and just had one tongue right the way around. I was like, I've never had tongue ever since. Never, ever, ever. So yeah, um, proper spaced out. <laughs> Oh man, it was just it was just one thing of another that era of my life. If it wasn't the fucking you know, no cutting needed, if it wasn't going right, I see a fucking screaming face there in the Rocky picture and all that kinds of shit. That's what the Rocky picture is. Everyone's wondering where that is. It's there. It's preserved, don't worry. Um, yeah, fucking live animals in my food. Oh, oh, oh. That's bad karma, that. That's basically all the shit I've given fucking David Johnson. Known as Sluggy, you know, Slug. Not the first time there's been a slug in this house, is it? Going to meet Metal J. Fox a couple of days ago. Yeah, giving him loads of shit because he paid over £400 to meet Metal J. Fox, but, you know, it was a good deal. But I'd give him that much shit. A slug has just called out my food. Oh my god, they told me for the There's weird stuff when you go through the archive, it's just like, there's a slug, and it's like, Literally, again, I <laughs> don't know why. Just a slug on the road, couldn't tell you where it was, when when it was. You know, just a slug on the road. You know, that footage has had no existence now for nearly 20 years. There's a slug on the road. Okay, so not many outtakes for this. A little bit of a rant, bit of history there. Um, as I said, um, the Area 51 sign and the alien is the next stop was filmed before this. And, produced and not it's all done and dusted and as far as I would like to put the shorter one out there also just something fun to edit but for now lockdown's lifting everyone be safe um stay safe and caring think of other people you know I don't want to go into them rants about other people like people tell me to watch where they're going when they're walking out in the supermarket and turn around and I'm pushing the trolley wait which way are you going I was like say sorry I said I'm not sorry I mean, get out of the way you fucking prick you leaving the one-way system of an entrance exit and you turn around and go watch where you're going like you watch where you're going you fucking idiot thanks for watching